Hi, I'm Dan and I'm the head of the business department and a trainer and assessor here. I've been teaching for almost four years now. My background is really into banking and finance. So I was a business development and relationship manager before I became a trainer. But looking back, I think I've always wanted to become a teacher. So I had a short um, stint with teaching when I was, I think, in, in uni. So we used to teach um, those children from the marginalized communities on our summer break back in uni and we will travel and teach, the, teach them basic um, language, literacy, and numeracy skills. I feel that somewhere and somehow I've always wanted to, to, to teach because it's one of the most, I think, fulfilling experience I had also back. So I never thought that I will be teaching here in Australia, not for the kids, but for international students. But I'm happy that I accidentally stumbled upon this training job. So. Apart from um, being able to impart my knowledge and my skills, you know, based from the experiences that I got from my previous work and all. I think what I like most is being able also to learn from the students, um, not only based from their experience too, because they're coming from different and various um, industries as well. So as much as I wanted, or we trainers wanted to inspire them as, you know, um, future, um, business leaders or managers and all they are also in one way inspiring us or inspiring me as a trainer because uh, i know how especially for international students difficult it is to juggle you know um, working and also studying at the same time uh, first of all i think for those students who are still currently um, studying and finishing their qualification i would suggest and recommend that they really take the opportunity to learn I make the most out of the experience like uh, ask as much questions and learn as much while they are still in you know the college and second i would say if they can focus on um, developing their transferable skills which, which includes like say leadership or say um, critical thinking teamwork communication skills, improving those skills because I think that's what most businesses are looking at at the moment or employers are looking at the moment. Because for me, I think the technical aspect of, of it, I mean the principles, the concepts, you can probably learn it maybe in weeks or in months, but um, when you go to one um, job to another, it may be a different, you know, different system that you that you need to learn. So, but with transferable skills like critical thinking, problem solving, teamwork, and communication skills, I think you can make use of those skills wherever you may go across different types of businesses. So those things we cannot really teach them in class because it's in you i mean you have to really develop that in your critical thinking decision making problem solving and also i hope that they, they make um every or take every opportunity to develop that while they are still in the call especially the communication skills like how to confidently maybe uh, speak in front of the class especially as you know most of our international students are coming from um, non-english speaking country and sometimes they come here and they're a bit intimidated with, you know, um, expressing themselves and all. But I hope that they'll realize that, you know, they're here in Australia already and they have to develop that skill already because that's what they're going to use. And eventually when they become team, team leaders or say supervisors or managers or um, probably in the upper positions like senior executives, uh, they will really need that. So I hope that they take advantage of um, improving that and capitalizing on those skills. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all here in Adelaide.